Welcome back to your daily dose of misogyny, misogyny daily. Today, we are going over a pop the balloon challenge. The link for the full video will be in the description. However, we are going in on this one. And uh, here is a lady coming up. So first off, let me give you the concept of the Pop the Balloon Challenge. The Pop the Balloon Challenge is where a young lady comes up and a selection of men gets to decide if they like her or not. They express the fact that they do not like by popping their balloons, what you see in their hands. And this pop can come at any time. It can be based on physical attraction. It can be based on something she said, but once it's popped, they have to explain why they popped. And then the guest lady has to make a decision if she would or would not have dated that person outside of this competition. But that's enough for me. Let's go. All right, right here. All right, can you introduce yourself, your name, age, and occupation? My name is Ty Janae, and I'm 30 years old, and I'm a tattoo artist. All right, so Tajane, um, what are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers is not having a good sense of humor because I like to laugh a lot. Um, I like to have fun, so that's really like the biggest deal breaker for me. Okay, and what do you look for in a man? Someone fun that um, is understanding and um, likes to have a good time, you know. Okay, okay, and now, in you know, the time that you're in right now, are you looking for something really serious? Are you looking to just build to see where it goes to, or what are you looking for right now? To be honest, what I'm looking for is someone that I feel like can protect me, but I feel like having a really good relationship with someone is hard to find. So I really just go with the flow, and okay. if I feel like it can go somewhere serious, then that's when I'll take you serious. Like when you. Okay, so let me break it off right there. The most important thing, what she just said is her go with the flu kind of attitude. Now, we have to understand as men, you cannot have that type of, that type of attitude when you are seeking a long-term partner. You have to be deliberate in your actions. You have to know why you did something and what is the outcome that you are seeking by doing those things. All the important decisions you make have to be thought out with an understanding of the benefits or the repercussions. Don't get fooled, guys. For me, once she said, Go with the flow. I'm out. I am out. You show me effort, then. Okay. You can go serious. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have two balloons that popped. Let's go ahead and figure out why they popped. Let's the find out why. Okay, three. All right. Can you introduce yourself? Name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Hi, I'm Jose. I'm 32 years old. I'm a truck driver. Um, Honestly, I'm just not feeling the attraction off rip. It's no nothing wrong with you. I love your career. I think it's fire. I think all that's cool. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel a spark. Exactly. I think you're very gorgeous. Don't Thank get me wrong. you very much. You don't like my tattoos? No, I think I think it's all is heat. I'm, I'm tatted too. I mean, if you can't tell, but I'm tatted underneath too. Leg, chat, all that. But it just ain't my speed. That's so we could be good friends, but yeah, you give me a client, you play your cards right. Yeah, we, you can we can tap my whole friends. body up like whiz. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. Okay. All right. Love it. Let's go ahead and move forward. All right. All right. Name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Hello. My name is Kenny. I'm 25 years, and I'm a I'm an artist. And the reason why I popped the balloon is because um, first and foremost, she's not my type of girl. I like my girl a little bit taller, and uh, a little bit more curvier. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a shorty. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, you look beautiful. You look good. You look. Come on, brother. You have to understand in man speak, the less you say, the more effective it is. 
the less you say, it's the more effective it comes across. Now, once again, when you have made a choice to say, you are not my type physically, I like a bit taller and I like a bit more meat, so to speak, leave it there. Let your knee be your knee. There is no need for long explanations or what I would call apologies. But let's go. Perfect, but this is for my type, my preference, you know. That's what I like. It's just not matching up to what, what I like. Okay. It's always a lot of my belong. Okay, how does that make you feel? Do you have any remarks? To be honest, I like my men 6'5 and 200 pounds and up, so it's cool. I feel like Tash was a little bit hurt because she didn't make up to my expectations, which I gave out to her. And uh, she had to, uh, you know, put it back on me to feel like I didn't make up to her expectations. Yeah, bro, that's called woman not having, woman not looking in the mirror and looking inside. When a woman stands in front of the mirror, she can't see past her makeup. She needs to see inside and self-reflect because what you said is your preference. You prefer her a bit taller and a bit thicker. Now it's interesting that she said she likes her man 6'5", 200 pounds. And I can guarantee that this man is about 6'5", and he seems maybe over 200 pounds. So let's see if this will be addressed. That would be interesting. So that's how I feel like it. I always feel like that's not something I would want to start with with somebody I want to be in a relationship or something with, you know? Okay. So he, he don't meet... He don't meet my requirements I don't meet, either. I'm 6'5", we need 200 pounds. What do you mean by that? You, I mean, you're 200 pounds and more. up? What are you saying? Okay, I like 225. Cool, that's cool, my cool. number right there. Cool. She said she did for a guy that's six. That's interesting. In fact, let me see if this gentleman is about to address it right here. Let's go. Five. I'm like, bro, I'm 6'5". I'm 200 pounds. She said she want a guy with 200 pounds and 6'5". I'm like, okay, that's, that's cool. That's me. And as soon as I said that, she said she looking for a guy with 225. I'm like, how? Like, there you go. And that's exactly what I'm saying. The accountability aspect is lacking. She can't see past her makeup when she looks in the mirror. And what you think is not important to her unless it is worshipping her. What you say is not important unless you're calling her queen. So she is allowed to have her preference, but you're not. Because if you do, it has to be presented to you in a negative way. She has to say something that literally makes no sense. Well, let's hear it from these hobos. How, Brody? How? Be good. Be good. All right, now, apart from that, do you find him attractive? Is he. I mean, he's a, you're, you're a handsome guy. I can't Very see sure. your face or your eyes, and I need to see people's eyes in order to figure out. You're all right. You're not, you're not, you know, you're all right. Good? Good for you? You're all right. You're all right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and move forward as well. All right. Your name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Uh, more 27. I popped it because I just, I'm just not really attracted to you. I do like everything about you, though, like the glitter, the dress, the shoes, the tattoos, mm -hmm. the hair. You look really pretty. It's just Thank not for you. me. That's fine. That's about it. But you like light skin girls? I, I like, I find the beauty in every like skin color. Okay. Just... Once again, there you go. You are not the girl that I'm attracted to, regardless. Regardless of what you see, you will be deemed as a demon. And this is because women 
never in their life generally hear someone tell them to their face that they don't find them attractive. And this is because every simp out there wants to smash. Every guy wants to smash and one of the easiest way to get your foot in the door is to tell her how amazing she looks. So she is, has never in her life had any man say to her, I don't find you attractive. And whereas she has rejected thousands of men that she can say, you're not my type. You don't make enough money. You're not cute enough. Right? You are not man enough. You have to be able to handle me. She has turned, turned down many men based on these fickle criteria. However, when this gentleman says, here are the type of girls that I'm generally attracted to, she has to have the last word. And that's also something that they think they need to at all times have the final C. I just don't see it like here. Okay, I just wanted to ask. Yeah. Now, is he also your type? No. He's not your type? Mm -mm. Why, why isn't he your type? He's tall, he's handsome, I like the tattoos, I like the swag, but I love, I love dreadheads, I love big, masculine looking men, like, I like rough looking men. Like, oh, okay. Well, to elaborate, I just feel like physique wise, like I'm a fun size girl, but like, I feel like we look really good with like men that are big and tall and strong. And I just feel like he is, he, he's, he's tall. Don't get me wrong, but he's not like physically fit. He don't look like he could slap a nigga out in one little hit. I like, I like them hood looking man. Okay. There you go. She wants the hood looking man. She wants the gang banger. That is the persona of the man she wants. But that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, yeah. Let's go. You said a hood? You said a hood looking man? Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I just like a really rough looking man that look like he could protect me. Like, I like a strong looking guy, like somebody when I'm walking next to because I know that I get a lot of compliments when I'm out with people. And I just need a man that I know is like secure with himself and can handle me. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any remarks to that? Uh, not really. I mean, like, I can only protect you from so much. Like, if a gun pop out, then it's just like... I mean, gonna we do? both better be running if a gun come, but I'm just but, saying, like... I mean, no, she cool. No. Guys, you have to be able to translate to womanese. She is saying you have to be willing to put your life on the line if a guy shows her attention. So if she's walking with you, and some guy calls to her, you should put your life on the line for her. Isn't that interesting? You're walking on the road with your woman and some calls to her, you should at that point put your life on the line or else you are not for her. That's really interesting really interesting what she should have said is i give a lot of guys the time of day i give a lot of guys my time i make a lot of trouble on the road so i need a gangster to do all of my dirty work for me that's what i heard that's what i heard Okay. All right. Let's let's come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. Okay. So we still do have two balloons on pots. Um. And so in this situation, we'd love for you to have a question, right? So if you have any question, you can present the question, ask that question, and um, we'll go down 
get some answers from them, and based on their answer, we'll eliminate one person, all right? No problem. All right. Um, what is your stance on commitment? What is your stance on commitment? That's one of my main things, commitment. Because my type is you, pretty much, fit, feminine, friendly. Mm -hmm. But the last part of that is loyal. Yeah. So commitment is all about loyalty. And if you're into commitment, that's me 100%. Okay. okay. I like all this right. answer. Okay. All right. Let's move forward. Um, I enjoy being in a, in a commitment, a, commi a committed relationship. Uh, I feel like it's the best way to build, grow old with somebody. And knowing that you have someone there for you in times of needs, I think is very, very special. And, you know, just being able to show up for that person. I think when you are in the streets for too long, it gets boring. Yeah. You know, it's, it's different when you're actually waking up to someone that you, you love, you yes. know. So I'm big on commitment. Okay. okay. Well, for one, I like your smile. That's Thank the you. first thing I would like to say. Thank you. All right. I like his answer. That's the second thing I would like to say. Okay. All right. I'm love. Okay. I'm loving this boy. Let's let's come back here. Let's come back. Let's come back. Let's come back. Um. Now, based on both of the answers, you get to pop one balloon. All right. Can I get your pen, please? Yes, sir. Can I ask them one more question before I pop? Okay. Because I all feel right. like they both had a good answer. All right. Okay. One more. All right. Um. Okay. How long have you been single? How long have you been single? That's a good question. Um, my ex, I think we broke up right after the pandemic, so it's been over a year now, a year and some change. About a year, okay. And for you? Almost a year. Almost a year. Okay. All right, let's okay. come back. All right, so now you have to pop one balloon. Does Based it have on both. To? Yeah, you have to pop one more balloon and leave one on, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to pop. Uh -oh. All right, and give a reason why you popped this balloon. I popped his balloon because I feel like a year and a half is not that long of being, you know, broken up, to be honest. I, I feel that. like you need more time to be by yourself. You know, you might still think about this girl, miss this girl, which is OK. But like, you know, I would be a rebound in that sense. Well, that's interesting because this gentleman has been single for a longer time than the person who was balloon, she didn't burst. So, <laughs> this just said to me, guys, don't ever, ever listen to a woman and base important decisions on what she says because she made her mind up who she wanted prior to her asking that question. That question really had no bearing on her choice. The other guy was chosen beforehand. However, the explanation is what got her, what gave her a challenge. Because if she was being fair, then it would be a time-bound situation. So obviously, there is something else other than the length of time that he was single for that caused her to make the decision she made. However, as usual, she is being disingenuous. Are you really surprised, Lou? This dude in a red shirt, single a short amount of time. So I think she was just trying to be nice, but you know, you know, female, so what can I do? I personally feel like it takes a long time to heal from a relationship. And I would have popped both of my last two contestants if I had the option to. But I popped Luke's because his was, his was the first option. But I feel like a year and a half is not that much time. I could just tell in his face when I said it that he wasn't over his ex-girlfriend. That he still may have lingering feelings. So he... Imagine that. Once again, we have another young lady who based on the smell of her fart in the wind decides that this man after a year and a half is not over his ex and is not ready for another relationship. Ooh, be careful out there guys. You be careful out there, but let's go. Understands what I'm saying. Yeah, in my opinion, I feel like Taj wasn't genuine. This is proof that hypergamy is real. She upgraded. She wanted a better man. 
the guy that's also in tech but make more money. That's what really happened. But she gonna say what she said. That's you know, that's females. That's how they are. That's it is what it is. I cannot disagree with you, my brother, to be honest. I think you have a very good point. It is what it is. What she saw was the other guy being an upgrade to you. Yeah. I mean, you can't be mad about it, but you can you, you cannot be mad about it, but you can acknowledge when you see it. Let's go. Respect up. Okay. All right. So we have one balloon on. And so um, we're going to go down here, uh, figure out if you have any questions for you. Okay. Um, so do you have any questions for her? So I do have a deal breaker with the neck tattoos, right? If we were to seriously date with the potential of getting married, is it something that you probably um, cover up or, you know, have it taken off? To be honest, I would want my husband to be happy. So I would pick someone that I feel like likes me the way that I am. I feel like, you know, that's the only way to be happy with someone is if they accept you the way that you are. So I'm not necessarily the person for you. So unfortunately. Okay, so as far as Teddy goes, I just personally feel like I'm not going to change myself for anybody. I feel like, you know, when you meet your, your soulmate, that person is like your perfect match. You're matched because you're perfect for you. Now, this has to be the biggest load of baloney that I've heard for a while. And this is why so many women have a higher belief in church, have a higher belief in astrology, and these things that tell you that you have to do nothing and your perfect match will come and scoot you up. This is like the prince and the, 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 the young lady syndrome. There is a prince charming who is going to come and take you for who you are and will ask no questions and he will be perfect and he will have no requirements of you. He will do exactly what you want and he will require nothing in return. Now, what rational people know is that for a relationship to work, there has to be compromises on both sides. Now, this gentleman says, I have a challenge with neck tattoos. You are good for me. Everything is fine. However, if we were to get serious, could it be, a, is, it, is there a case where you could not have these tattoos visible 24 sevens all the time? I mean, to be honest though, he, in my opinion, should have popped his balloon way out because he came across the same challenge earlier in the show and he um, did burst his balloon a bit earlier on. So he should have kept the same energy for this young lady. Burst that balloon if she doesn't. And this is the thing, gentlemen, you have become so pussified that you give too much grace. You know she is not for you. You know it's highly unlikely that she's going to change anything to accommodate you in her life, regardless of what you bring. You will always have to be the one to compromise. You will always be the one to compromise. So why would you not see the red flag and decide not to entertain this person? That's a lack of critical thinking and a lack of common sense each other already i should not have to necessarily change myself you should be the way like i just feel like i want someone that likes me the way that i am and i want someone that i like the way that they are and if they want to change it has to be because they want to change for themselves not because i want to change them okay. that's respectful okay all right all right so let's come back unfortunately 
he popped his balloon and it was a mutual agreement as well regarding to that, correct? Mm -hmm. All okay. of you guys are nice guys. All right. Y'all are very nice. Um, so again, unfortunately, you weren't able to find a match here. No. But do you have any last re um, remarks? No. <laughs> okay. I fuck well, y'all. Y'all cool. And I hope y'all find a girl y'all looking for because it ain't me. <laughs> okay. All right. Fellas, let's make some noise for her, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Have a great one, all right? All right. Fellas, are y'all ready for the next single woman? Well, well, guys. Thank you for joining me for this one once again. The link to the full program will be in the description, in the pinned comment. So, <laughs> it's amazing though, as I mentioned before, when we have people who come into relationships with selfish mentalities, do not expect much from them. You have to understand the way they are and leave them where they are, your daily dose of misogyny coming in once again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But let's go, let's go, let's go.